Um, so, so I'm Doug Chapnick. I'm the founder and CEO of Biolumix. We're a biotech company in Boulder, Colorado. Um, we've, we've developed a unique technology and we're, we're using it to understand and make drugs um, in multiple therapeutic uh, indications. What would you say is the philosophy behind Biolumix and the way you're approaching research? Ah, so that has evolved quite a bit. So we've been in business since 2019. Um, at this point, I would say we have solidified um, the answer to that question, which is essentially that you don't need to understand fully how a disease works to make progress and find therapeutics for it. Um, that's, that's one part. Um, the other part is that um, we've known for a long time that drugs that are even, even FDA approved drugs do many different things. And at Biolumix, we're appreciating and harnessing this multifunctional behavior that drugs have and trying to custom tailor what those multifunctional behaviors are. Um, so that's where we're at. What is the, the research approach that you're using to tackle that in broad terms? Ah, in broad terms, we program cells and those cells build and test drugs. Um, and so the building part is where we have drugs uh, displayed either on the surface or inside cells. And then from cell to cell, we can change the design of that drug. And so in a normal 96 experiment format, um, we can pack in millions of experiments using that approach. And so really what it boils down to is programming cells allows us to do a much bigger throughput with less people. Um, and so we're doing vast searches in this huge possible chemical space that drugs occupy. So there's, there's more possibilities to build a drug than stars in the universe. Um, and so in order to navigate you, through that type of possibility space, you, you need to be able to make jumps in millions to billions of designs. And that's where we're at now. How do you see this work, this high throughput work, uh, applying to helping rare disease patients and communities? So it comes back to our philosophy. So in two ways, rare diseases that have been under-researched um, historically, their mechanisms have a lot of holes in them. So people don't quite understand how to build a drug or what the drug should do. Um, and we're enabling a sort of backdoor to bypass the need to, to know all of that information and to start finding drugs that affect. So in, in, for example, a, a rare disease that's a point mutant in, in, in just one protein, we can build an assay just knowing that. And we can say, we want, we see cellular defects from that protein, that mutant, and we can find drugs that reverse that, even if we don't understand the whole story behind how that drug works. Um, and so it gives us a way, a launch pad to start finding things. As you're moving into uh, some of these projects with KIF-1A, is there anything that in particular is uh, exciting you about these projects? Yeah, I mean, KIF-1A is a perfect example of where um, there's a lot of, there's not a lot of understanding of how the clinical symptoms tie at the molecular level to the mutations that patients have. Um, and so um, it's a perfect test case for us to see if we're making progress. There's other members in the community also making progress and we can use our tools on, on drug candidates that they find as well. And so we can sort of um, so co-evolve with a lot of these companies. Um, and, and so I'm excited about that, that we're sort of delving in the, the pure darkness of, of R&D um, and, and that people are banding together to, to, to make an effort to, to make an impact um, in these rare diseases that have been sort of sidelined for a little bit. Thank you. And we really appreciate the work that you're doing on behalf of the community and getting those getting towards those treatments without necessarily understanding the, the mechanism kind of moving forward to the point, which is getting you know, treatments to people as quickly as possible. Uh, do you have any other uh, final thoughts that weren't captured in these questions? Anything you'd like to express to our community? I'm very impressed with the, the KIF-1A community, um, how they band together, how, how these conferences um, rejuvenate people and, and 
can really coalesce the sort of mission and keep it going forward. Um, and, you know, so I, I'm very proud to be part of it. Um, and I think our whole team is proud to be part of it. So, so we thank you for putting this all together um, and, and for allowing us to, to help out and, and do what we can.